Zimbabweans are choosing to turn a blind eye on presidential candidate Sylvia Kasugwere's dirty past United Zimbabwe Alliance President Elizabeth Valerio has said. Valerio, whose candidature is not yet set after failing to pay nomination fees on time, said she was amazed at how much Zimbabweans were portraying the self-exiled Kasugwere as a hero, yet he was at one point ahead of Sanupiev's system of injustice. Her comments on Kasugwere came hours before Zimbabweans remembered 2008's fatal attacks on opposition MTC supporters, some of which Kasugwere led. Over 200 opposition supporters across the country were killed by state security agents in the Central Intelligence Organization, Army, Police and Ruling Party members, all intent on ensuring a runoff win for the late President Robert Mugabe after his loss to Morgan Changrai. Mugabe, yet for the first time, been officially beaten in a poll for presidency, managing only 43.24% against Changrai's 47.87%. Results were withheld for months, during which period the likes of Kasukwere terrorized mainly reluctant constituencies ahead of the rerun. According to documents released by the then Changrai led opposition, Kasukwere personally oversaw the assault, poisoning, murder, and abduction of over 300 MDCT supporters during what is regarded as one of Zimbabwe's darkest periods. Kasugwere, who hails from the Mount Darren area in Mashonal and Central Province, is said to have become a willing participant in politically motivated violence that received widespread condemnation there. Someone said to me today, if Jesus was on the ballot, Zimbabweans would not vote for him, said Valerio. This got me thinking about all the heroism Kasugwere has received recently on social media as Zimbabweans turning a blind eye and forgetting that for a time Savior Kasukwere was the vanguard for much of the injustice and exploitation in our country. Only the Amora would seek refuge in Kasukwere. Do we no longer know the difference between right and wrong? Have we lost all strength and ethics, perhaps as a consequence of having lived so for so long in such a highly corrupt society? Will Zimbabweans ever wake up? Zimbabweans vote in general elections on August 23 this year. Kasukwere's name still commands fear in Mashona Land, where he operated from. A former CIO operative, Kasukwere was known as Paraquat at the time, a name derived from his use of the poisonous website on opposition supporters caught by his 300 strong Zanupiev squad. After spending the majority of President Emerson Nangagwa's terms exiled in South Africa, Kasukwere has indicated his desire to save Zimbabwe from the Zanupiev Supremes blundering administration. He reckons Zimbabweans have suffered enough. Kasukwere is yet to speak of the 2008 period and has chosen to focus his campaign on the indigenization policy and an array of accolades recorded during Mugabe's tenure. We will not forget the thousands who were displaced, whose livelihoods were destroyed and their lives changed forever, said you Zimbabwe Trust in a statement Tuesday. We continue calling the National Peace and Reconciliation Commission to bring healing, reconciliation and wholesome traditional justice to bring finality to this chapter in our history. The Special Investigative Unit established by Section 133J of the Electoral Act must investigate, ensure prosecution and bring to justice all perpetrators of political violence and intimidation.